that the noble Baroness, uh, Lady Cramer, and the noble Lord uh, uh, opposite, can't, uh, can't, Lord Linney, can't accept that. This afternoon, I wish to touch on the uh, topical issue of infrastructure and how it can, it can be financed. And especially, I want to focus on my local area of Barrow and Furness and its surrounding areas. We are expecting, as I've told the Lordships before, investment in the region of about £40 billion over the uh, next decade. It will come from shipbuilding, pharmaceuticals, civil nuclear, offshore gas and, and other things uh, as well. And a very exciting prospect that is for an area which, uh, whose economic future has not always been certain. Uh, here I perhaps should declare a personal interest. The, um, group of uh, companies, family companies, which I used to be chairman of and have now handed over to my daughter, I make no secret of the fact that I'll be wishing to take advantage of this uh, investment, and I refer noble lords to my, uh, the, lords, the register of lords' interests. My lords, I think I'm right in saying that private or institutional investment in infrastructure projects are at an all-time low. In 2008-09, infrastructure spending reached £57 billion, pounds, since when it has dropped in 2013-14 to £42 billion. The Chancellor's anticipated commitment to spend £100 billion pounds on infrastructure will be greatly welcomed. But how to find the money? Brooding on this, I was very much struck by a piece I found on the Centre for Political Studies online news service, CAPEX, written by George Trethgarn, whose father, of course, has long adorned your Lordship's house with great distinction. Mr. Trefgar heads his piece with the words, an idea whose time has come, project bonds, project bonds. I strongly commend it and further reading on the subject to your Lordships. There was a consensus that allowed my party's programme